How's it going? Rogue Meatwad here, and I'm doing a little walkthrough for Mayday on Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, basically, I'm going to be telling you the setup I ran to solo this, and uh, your best chance of getting completionist. So far, that uh, what I have found here is I'm showing you my loadout with uh, my uh, armor armory upgrades. I run specialist, rock, armor piercing, armor, vulture, riot control. And on the side, you can pause to see uh, what I run, but basically anything that does damage, uh, some regen, and uh, I think less damage from the Seekers. Anyways, uh, if you really want to get completionist, you, I mean, you want to get as many upgrade points as you can, but you really got to stay focused. Uh, I have done this twice solo so far and gotten all the challenges. Um, it's really not that hard once... Uh, you know the spawns, you know what's coming. Uh, so it's it's really not that bad. And I'll show you here. Uh, I upgrade, full upgrade ammo, specialist. I go pistols to where I can get secondary, don't fully upgrade it. My vulture, and then I start working on my armor. Now here, I picked up the uh, MTAR from a locker, but I pick up this DMR. I think it's the MR28. Uh, I'm showing, showing it here, but... Uh, with weapon specialists, especially if you can find uh, a muzzle break, this thing is beast. It one shots uh, scouts, two shots hunters, uh, basically a clip and a half to take down a rhino, uh, maybe a full clip to take down, excuse me, uh, the phantoms, not even a clip to take out the, the cedars. But it is very effective solo with specialists on and I'll show you here uh, how effective it is, and you'll see uh, throughout. It helps out with uh, distance one, especially the high, but you got to defend from the window. But uh, the, the the two schematics you really want to build, of course, first is going to want to be your uh, Venom X, and then you want to try and keep the Tesla coil with you as long as possible. Because it helps out a lot when you're defending the window. Uh, it guards your back. I mean, you should have a right shield up, but it just helps destroy uh, what's behind you. And even, like, I mean, later on, it just helps with rhinos and whatnot. But, the your, of course, your Venom X gun helps out, which I don't use it too much. But uh, Tesla Coil helps out a whole, whole lot. And right here, I'm going to point at... The corners you want to go to first, in order, one through four, that you want to sit in. Uh, this is the second corner I sit in, but basically, once uh, it starts, you sit in that first corner. Here's the second, but you just sit back and don't bother shooting at the Kraken. It's pointless unless he's glowing and using your uh, small arms ain't really going to do a whole lot of damage uh, on your own. So basically, I'm just sitting here. Hitting things as far away as I can, and that's one reason why I keep this gun with me, uh, is one, I'm not taking damage. Two, uh, I'm getting as much money as I can. Because I want to keep armored up, and I want to have enough money to pop a vulture and use the turret uh, when it's available. Vulture is to help protect you. You can use the turret to protect yourself, but you want to be using that turret to take down uh, that Kraken as fast as, as possible. So if you have something that, that you can throw up, uh, like a falter, preferably, it helps out a whole lot. I hope this helps you out with the walkthrough. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, please like, at least like, comment if you want, maybe have a discussion. Uh, and then maybe I'll see you online. But uh, yeah, if you like, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you like anything else, I do do a podcast from time to time on here with my buddy Digital Pants. All right, later on, game on.